Data Talks here for another data science tutorial. And this time will be a little bit different. Uh, instead of doing data science, let's let data science, let's let AI do the data science for us. Um, so I was very lucky and got access to OpenAI's uh, Codex uh, Beta, uh, which I'll go ahead and share some videos down below. If you all have not seen it, it is an AI that knows how to code or it is a natural language, or I guess natural language, it is a code completion uh, algorithm that, AI, or that OpenAI has released to the public, and it looks really cool. And um, I thought, what better, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you what we're working on, what better to do than going ahead and doing our uh, learning by doing pandas exercises, which I recommended as a great way to go ahead and study pandas and get brushed up on doing basic uh, data analytics. Uh, and what better way to go ahead and show the power of this than actually just doing these exercises for us. Um, and I, I will say I've cheated a little bit. I've gone ahead and played with this a little bit. And I'll show you what happens um, with it. And we'll have a little bit of fun. Um, so first off, let's go ahead and set our language to Python. Um, we're using DaVinci Codex. There's a lot of different stuff over here that I'm just I'm not going to play with. I'm just going to go ahead and use this here. Um, and y'all can kind of see what happens just sort of super basically. Um, we can go ahead, we, we put comments in here. And you know we can say, say hello world. Um, and it takes in these comments. You can submit it to it. And we'll go ahead and give you back what it thinks, yeah, I mean, in this case, what it thinks you want. In this case, print hello world. Um, it also throws back a lot of other stuff. Um, in this case, uh, we don't have a stop sequence. Perhaps our stop sequence could be an empty new line. Um, but maybe we don't want that. We've got a response length of 64. We could perhaps change that. Um, anyways, uh, I'll experiment with these later on. But I do want to show you this with just sort of like the uh, these just sort of base settings at the moment. So let's, let's go ahead and delete this. Obviously, it throws a little bit of, uh, a little bit of garbage after here. But uh, let's delete this for the moment. Um, and let's go ahead and get started with uh, getting and knowing your data. So I'm over at Collaboratory. Um, I don't know, a lot of you might not know that you can do this, but you can go ahead and select the GitHub tab when making a new collab and paste in a URL, at which point you can just literally open um, up. And do we want to, let's actually just do the exercises. Um, uh, and you can just open up any GitHub uh, repository and, and basically do it here. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So the first thing that we want to do, we don't need to import the necessary libraries. It doesn't really make sense for this. But we want to tell OpenAI to go ahead and uh, get data from, in this case, this address. And I'll be a little lazy and just grab the address from here, from this address. This looks pretty good. Um, so let's go ahead and see what it will give back. So yeah, I, this is, you know, uh, it immediately goes back URL, uh, pd.readcsv, separator with the tab separation, which is cool because um, it is a TSV, and names it Cheapo. So you guys might already sort of see the, the sort of funny thing that has sort of happened here. Um, it's definitely read this file before. There's probably hundreds, thousands, maybe tens of thousands of data science students out there that have done this exercise and posted it on their um, uh, GitHub repository. Um, and so it kind of cheated a little bit. It already knew our next uh, thing, assign it to a variable called Cheapo. Um, but you could go ahead and see that it does work. Um, whatever. Um, so we'll go ahead and do this. I'll go ahead and, uh, Ah, sorry. Oh, of course. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't go ahead and import pandas. So let's do this. Um, uh, let's PD. Do that, and then we'll go ahead and run this. Um, let's grab. See the first ten entries from here as well. So we did that. Um, let's run this. Oh, destroyed this poor link text. Okay. Well. <laughs> Let's just delete this link text stuff here. Sorry. Um, so we've done this. Now what you'll do when you're using uh, OpenAI's codex is you'll keep uh, the comments from above. 
um, and you'll just keep adding new comments. This way it can keep context from what you did from uh, above. Um, go ahead and submit. And y'all will probably, I don't, y'all, if you want, you can guess what will happen next. <laughs> Pause the video. So <laughs> not only does it tell us what the first 10 entries are, so cheapo.head, show the first 10 entries, but, um, which is correct, but it also knows what are the number of observations in the data set, <laughs> which it gets from here. Um, there are multiple solutions, it just gives us this. What is the number of columns in the data set? Oh, thank you. I didn't even need to type this out. Um, and you get it from here. Print all the names of the columns. I just need to delete this. So one thing that I, I am really curious to do here, let's go ahead and make the response length um, uh, 2,000, 2,000 characters, um, and kind of see what happens. Um, Okay, columns, how is it indexed? What is the most ordered item? The most ordered, uh, how many times is it ordered? And I just, which I don't know if you notice this was for the most ordered item, it was the choice description column, how many times was it ordered? It has solution one and solution two. Um, it goes all the way down to how many different items are sold. You don't need me to run this to believe me that this is all correct. Um, so, so uh, is is OpenAI smarter than a data scientist? Who I, I'm not sure if we can tell from here, um, but it is kind of fun to see that it has it has memorized this uh, one particular GitHub notebook quite well. Um, in addition to that, I actually tried this with five other exercises in Gwipsamora. Um, and it has memorized all of them, basically. <laughs> uh, maybe not all of them, but at least the five that I tried, it did memorize. So um, my task for the next video is I'm going to find, either make a, a set of private, I'll probably use some private uh, data science exercises that I've had for my class. Maybe I'll just use the exercises that I have that are technically public on my GitHub repository, but haven't been copied as much, and go ahead and see how well it fares on that. And we'll keep making more and more complex problems until we go ahead and stump our OpenAI codex. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. And as always, this is Data Talks.